Hi, Danny here with Steamers Cooking. Today we're going to do some uh, pasta and fettuccine sauce. This fettuccine sauce has been kept secret for uh, quite a long time. We would not give this out to anybody. We had a restaurant down towards Peggy's Cove, Nova Scotia, and there was numerous amounts of people that wanted this recipe and asked uh, on occasion a number of times, and we would not even give this out to our friends. So today I'm going to teach you how to cook this. First, we're going to start with our pasta. I get the pot filled up to about here. We want a generous amount to fill to cook your pasta. Whatever uh, pasta you're cooking, if you're cooking that much, you want it three quarters full. We're going to mix it 50-50 with steam or salt water because most people put salt in, table salt, but uh, the pure sea salt that's in steam or sea water is better for you. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put about 50% fresh water, 50% sea water. There we go there, we're going to turn this on high. And we're going to add a little scoop of margarine, butter, oil, oil goes good. And we're going to leave that boil. Meanwhile, we're going to cook my famous sauce. And how we're going to start Two the cups off of coffee cream. And we're going to pour that all in there right now. And now that that's in there, we're going to turn this on. Okay, Max. This is something that you're going to have to watch very carefully because this is very important. What we got here is we got a cup and a half of base cell butter. You can use real butter, which works very well. I'm going to put that in. Okay, so we got the butter added. We're going to stir that in. This is on high. Have a whisk, and you're going to have your parmesan, like you know, your container parmesan. You're going to have that already in a cup because this is going to be the key. We're going to heat this up, and you're going to heat this up fast. But you have to watch this because when this starts to boil, it can boil over within a couple of seconds. So what you're going to do is you're going to see this boiling. When it does boil, you're going to move this off the stove. Okay, we're going to put a cover on the noodle water to get this going. This is coming to a rapid boil, and as you can see, it's ready to boil over. I'll just show you. See how it boils up? Over? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to just put that on back on for a quick second. We're going to turn this way down low. That's going to almost boil over. You're going to take it off. You're going to pour all this in at once. And you're going what to stir it. Rapidly, like this, and you're going to notice you're going to get that all in. And as that burner cools down, you're going to set it back on and you're going to stir. Be careful, this is going to thicken quick fairly quick. You might have another couple minutes. You're going to leave that go. You don't want it too, too, too thick, but you want it nice and thick for your fettuccine. And this is pretty basic here, and this is what's going to make your perfect fettuccine sauce. Okay, so we're going to stir this. It's going to thicken fairly quickly. It may take a couple minutes, depending on your heat and everything. And that's to a point where we go where we want. So we're going to set that aside on a separate burner. And now our water is ready. It's starting to boil. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, fettuccine noodles, which I have fresh fettuccine noodles. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you have the dry ones. You just want to make sure that you have your dry ones on 20 minutes ahead of your sauce so your sauce is hot with your uh, fettuccine noodles because they take about 20 minutes to do. These take about 3 minutes to do. And the key to put to your noodles is when you put them in the water, the biggest mistake most people have is they don't stir them right away. The key is to spend a couple minutes stirring them, getting them all mixed up, and separate it. And if you do that, by doing that, they won't stick together. If you don't, they'll stick together and then you'll, you'll never get them apart. So we're going to put these in. Be careful not to burn yourself. Get them in there. And we're going to stir them up really good. And you can see them coming apart. We're going to cook these for a few minutes and 
once I get these going. And the fettuccine, you can add chicken, mushrooms, mix it all together. You can do seafood, you can do shrimp, you can do a combination of seafood. Or you can do um, a combination of seafood. <laughs> or you can do just plain scallops. I'm going to do a mixture of, or you can do plain lobster. I'm going to do a mixture of some scallops and some lobster, which is very delicious. And another thing that goes very good with this is garlic bread. You want to have some garlic bread with it. Okay, so now we're going to finish off our pasta. We already drained our noodles. We put a little bit of butter in this because we're going to fry up some scallops. And these are fairly large scallops, so we're going to slice them in half. And I'm going to add a little bit of lobster that's already been cooked and cleaned and stored. So we're going to... Scallops are something that you... You want to cook until they turn white. If you overcook them, they get uh, what we call puggy. They, they, they don't taste as good. You and lightly, lightly cooked. Now, we're going to give them a little flip. What we're going to do is... And just a little bit of pepper. And what's really good on scallops, especially if you're just going to pan fry them, is tarragon leaves, chopped up tarragon leaves. And just put a sprinkle over there like that. If you're frying them up to serve, do this at the end. Plus it looks really well. So we're going to, this is on max, we're going to turn this back to about eight. While we're doing this, we're going to take a bowl. And the noodles we drain, if you leave the noodles hot, they'll stick together. So what I do is I run some cool water over the noodles, or you can rub some oil around them. That way they don't stick together as bad. So we're going to take these, and we're going to get a nice little amount in there. Let's say like that. Don't forget about your scallops. So brown them up a little bit like that. And pretty close to being done there. Maybe a couple more noodles. Yeah. Which, oh, that's plenty. Plenty noodles. So we get the noodles. And we got the scallops. I'll show you here in a second. Delicious scallops. And to make sure they're completely done. You take the fork and just give a little cut. So if they're not done, they'll be a little fleshy. It's just when they're, if they're done, they're just going to be white, which they need a couple more, maybe another minute. Meanwhile, we're going to take our lobster. The lobster tail that I previously had. Make sure the veins are over it. It's just one more of this. And cut up some fine pieces on there. Shut off your skull because it's supposed to be done. Place this up. Give these a little flip. Take your fork. Place one there, place one here, place one there, there, spray them out to make them look nice. Let's put one right up in the center. Your sauce, which is ready to pour it over, the ladle, say about a ladle full. Now just drizzle all around the sides. Up over the top, look at that, and we're going to take, make this look a little bit better, just hammers on over around the edges, this is a little bit up over the top, take your pepper, go around the edge of the plate, try to get it on the edge a little, oh, a little bit too much there, but that's alright, and we're going to have a piece of
parsley. I believe you're ready to serve a delicious scallop and lobster fettuccine.